my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer. Uh, this is the second episode of my new series, I guess, documenting my journey as a graphic designer. So today we are talking brand strategy. And the reason why is because yesterday, uh, me and my partner, we both have a company together called Lionbox, which is a design studio. And we had a brand strategy session with a new client that we are starting uh, to work with. Um, so I won't say the name of the client yet because we're still on the on the initial stages, but well, I'll share it at some point probably on our Instagram. So the reason why we had this strategy session is, or, or first of all, a strategy session, what it is, because maybe some people don't know, uh, the brand strategy session is something that helps, it's kind of a workshop that helps um, outlining the brand purpose, the mission, the well, everything that surrounds the brand narrative, uh, as well as the target audience, the goals, the possible roadmap of the company. So it's not, in our case, because we are designers, it's not so focused on the on the design aspects, so on on the services and products uh, or the revenue of the company. Although we touch on those points a little bit is more focused on the message and the narrative of the company. So when we create content for this for this brand specifically, we have a clear message, we have a clear uh, what we are going to create, the visual guidelines, so we have everything um, kind of ready for for them to use it. So how we do the brand strategy session or how we did it. So yesterday we had, as I said, yesterday was Sunday, by the way. So we had the strategy session because it's the day that we could get the three directors of the company to get together. And what we did is a workshop. So it was, uh, I think, four hours or four and a half hours, which is more or less what we estimated. So it was it was OK. It was within the the estimations we did. And what we did was a workshop in which we created a presentation for it and it was divided in three sections. So the first section was um, the brand. So the brand in terms of the why they're doing what they're doing, also what they are doing. So the first, well, basically the first exercise is if you know the Sinek um, Golden Circle, Simon Sinek Golden Circle. If you don't know it, I'll leave a link on the on the description. So I think it's a video where he explains everything, a video from a long time ago. So what we did was, was first ask them what they're doing, then we ask how they're doing it, and finally um, why they're doing it. So that was the, the starting point of the session. And we think it's very important because um, Every brand has a story. So we decided that the brand strategy was a good starting point, not only because of discovering their story, which was something they could have told us, but mostly because uh, we believe they were a bit um, unclear on the target audience they had or the target audience they wanted to have. So we did this session. So the session, as I said, is a workshop. We have this presentation, we have some exercises, some of them they have to write and some of them we just um, talk about something or we do some kind of more like a game or something like that. So the role we have as, as a lion box, we are the facilitators. So we are there to ask questions. So we are helping them to uncover, you know, the different, different reasons why they might be doing this that maybe they haven't considered in the first place. Some people start businesses just to make money, which is totally fine. But we wanted to see if we could um, outline some other reasons that are going to help us with the brand narrative and the messaging. And this is because we are going to be creating content for them, mainly for social media. Also, we're going to help them uh, with an app and also um, videos for a YouTube channel like this one. So we just wanted to make sure that the that we create something that is uh, coherent and relevant from the beginning. So all the visual guidelines and everything we are providing them uh, with is going to help whoever comes in touch with the company, not only the audience, but also other directors, sponsors, um, you know, whatever the case, because they are going to be selling products as well as, as providing a service. 
everyone is going to know what the brand is about and everybody is going to be able to easily you know provide this same message to other people this also helps because we put all of our efforts towards the the target audience so we are not creating generic posts that can you know attract everyone we want to make sure we're attracting the the ideal client that they have at the moment even though the ideal client might change or the actual client might be a bit different but having someone in mind having a user persona um, that really helps when you are creating something because when you create something exclusive for one person people feel related to this to this brand to this content and they are likely to stay and to probably engage with the brand or at least that's a, that's what has happened to me in the past so whenever i engage with a brand or with a i guess an influencer or someone it's because when they are talking i feel like they are talking to me so that's what we want to create for them so at the end of the day i think it's designing with purpose so um it's not just saying oh we just want to you know put some content out some photos some quotes that's totally fine but if you are trying to talk to everyone probably nobody's gonna listen so yeah i mean the the session went very well it's a very long process and it's you know very tiring because there is a lot of thinking involved especially from their side and yeah now that the work gets harder for our side because we have to compile all this information and what we are providing is a brand strategy guide so something that they can as i said before give to stakeholders or people who get in touch with the company for for them to understand what, the, what they are about and i think it's very important to have a purpose and to be able to to express that message very strongly to everyone because at the end of the day you think about typical companies or typical brands that um, you might be using on your day to day they all probably have a very clear purpose i depending on where you buy when you go to a store and you are buying from that store usually you are buying because you understand the brand you understand their story and you like what they're do what they are doing so you are supporting them with what you buy and I mean, there are a million of examples, but recently I've been uh, researching and reading a lot about Patagonia and about Tom's, which is two clothing companies. They have obviously different, different stories behind them, but the purpose they have and the vision they have, when you buy from them, you are supporting their cause and it's a very good one. So we just want to make sure now and in the future that when we work with brands, we make sure that they understand the importance of having kind of this base work where they they have a message they have a narrative because obviously they're gonna have the message but sometimes they don't understand the value of putting it out in a in a specific way so that's what we help them do with the brand strategy session and the guide that we are creating for them so that's all i have for today the session went really well and now i'm just on the on the kind of post-production i guess work and and more more work is coming with this company so I, i'm very excited to share more when when we have finished the guide probably so i'll keep you posted thank you so much for watching one more day and i see you in the next episode bye